Okay, welcome back to the channel, everybody. This particular video, we're gonna take a closer look at the, the neck sleeve on the PXG driver and how that can influence the loft the lie and also how potentially then that can influence the actual shot shape and potentially the strike on the actual club face itself. So we're going to do a little bit of testing. We've got the PXG, the 0211 driver in our hands. We're going to move this shaft around in the next sleeve, put it on different settings, test it and see how that affects the ball flight. Okay, so the neck sleeve, and obviously a lot of brands offer this offering of changing neck sleeve around, but they'll sometimes all just work in very, in, in just in different ways. Some do more adjustability, some will change face angle more than others, some will change line more than others, up or down. So there's a lot of different ways each of the brands actually do this. It's a great advantage for us as fitters to really sort of dial in and help potentially uh, for you golfers to reduce a certain miss in your game, to try and influence a strike, um, to try and influence the shot direction and things like that. Um, so it is a benefit, and I know a lot of golfers out there will look at neck sleeves and go, oh, it's too complicated, I don't want to be messing around with that. And I agree, you don't, but if you go and get fit and you've got it in a setting, then for me, you shouldn't really be changing it unless things like technique or swing or anything like that maybe has changed. If you're having lessons and stuff like that, you may just want to have a double check on the setting. So we're going to talk about the PXG setting. So in the, in the next sleeve, you can go up or down by up to 1.5 degrees of loft. So easiest thing if you're going to think about there, if you hit the ball quite high, you think, well, I'm going to drop that loft and I'll get that ball lower. But you've got to remember that is also going to affect lie angle of the golf club and potentially the club face angle as well. So sometimes guys I find are doing that, but then they're actually making it a shot direction worse for their particular miss because they didn't really have the knowledge that what it also affects is that line, that face. So what I've done here, I've, I've already hit a batch of five shots just in the standard setting, which I've done a few reviews on your channel. You may have sort of seen those. Um, so nine degree head set as standard is gonna set that club at nine degrees and fairly square on that club face. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lower that by 1.5 degrees. So I'm going to obviously take the next sleeve out, rotate it around and line up the 1.5, which is in PXG indicate that as actually 1.5 lower, but also with a like a big minus uh, symbol on the actual neck sleeve itself and line that up with that little circle that's on the back of the neck, it's in line with a nine degree on the head. So I've dropped the loft by 1.5. So this is obviously down to now 7.5 degrees of loft. So as it's dropped the loft by 1.5 degrees, it's also reduced the lie by 1.5 degrees. So it's now 1.5 degrees more flatter than what it was in that standard positioning. So as I now reposition that down by the, the golf but it's playing position, it has, to me, visually just slightly open the club face. So typically that's what you'll find is when you reduce loft, you're gonna slightly open that club face. I can definitely see that, but we've also got now a slightly flatter lie. So potentially this is gonna create more of a, for me, a little bit more of a right shot. So maybe somebody who's suffering with maybe a left miss in the game, you know, flattening that lie, slightly opening the face, as you can appreciate, we'll try and take that left side of the golf course out. That's a good strike. Yeah, and that is just moving up that right-hand side. Noticeable that. That was a good strike, felt very solid. Just got that little bit of left to right shaping on here. So as I said, that slightly open face is probably gonna encourage that a little bit more. Many of you maybe see my review videos, just hitting a little bit of a left to right shape at, uh, at the moment with the drive, which I quite like. So this is probably a, at the moment a setting that I don't really need because it's gonna open face more. Flattening the lie is gonna obviously try and create that more of that right start line. That's a good strike. A little bit higher in the face. That's popped up a tiny bit higher. Again, just got a little bit of left to right shaping on that. Not a great deal, to be honest. So there is also um, a setting in between here. So I've gone from that nine degree right the way down to that furthest lowest setting at minus 1.5. So there is a small minus symbol in between those, which is only going to reduce by one degree. So that would take it to an eight degree. And then that would affect the lie to make it flatter by only half a degree as opposed to 1.5 that I've got it in. So there is a, a setting in between. Obviously, I'm not going to be testing every single setting on this, on this driver because that's a lot of golf shots. <laughs> Okay, that's quite a straight shot there. A little bit of left to right shaping on it, but it's quite neutral to be honest. Again, good strike. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna flip that in the opposite way. So I'm gonna add the full 1.5 to the nine degrees, so obviously making that into a 10.5. So just as I'm changing that, you'll see just on the screen, there with the yellow, which is the lower option, flatter light, you can see that's just starting to, to favor a little bit more of that slight up the right-hand side bias on those shots. Right, so we've done the opposite now. We've added 1.5 degrees loss, so this is now gonna play at 10.5 degrees. And you would think this would now increase the lie by 1.5, as in making it 1.5 degrees more upright, but it doesn't. It still plays the lie as a minus 1.5. So something to sort of bear in mind there. So we've still got that flatter lie, but we've got more loft now. Now, as we've changed loft, as with most neck sleeves in a lot of the brands, as you add the loft, it's gonna slightly close that club face and that's noticeable. So that looks different now. That face looks to be pointing a little bit more at that left-hand side. Definitely sort of see a little bit more loft on that club face. So visually, does look different again. Okay, so you can see, or I can see that just launched that little bit, a little bit higher on that launch. Still got that moving a little bit left to right, to be honest. Fairly neutral, but still a little bit that left to right shape. But obviously you've got to remember this lie is still flat. So the lie is trying to make things work a little bit more straight to the, the, the change of face angle start and a little bit more left. Um, would think that's going to get the ball left of so this because sort of just counteract each other a little bit here so really might not see more left shots but should just see a little increase of that launch with that loft change that's a nice shot yeah definitely a little bit higher on that flight quite neutral shot Again, it's a very visual change for me. Again, this is me personally. Everybody's a little bit different. Some golfers won't notice that change unless you point it out to them or they, or they know that things are going to change. But that, to me, is very noticeable. I'm not, I'm not keen on that face pointing left as a player myself. So that it's a setting I wouldn't really like to see. I like to see it very square. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a Healy, Healy strike. So that's got that little bit of cut through the strike. Just dropping off that little bit of distance there. Okay, so maybe see there, that, that's fairly neutral for me in that particular setting. Say the lie is still flat, the loft is up in it and just sort of slightly close it. We'll look at the numbers in terms of launch and everything like that a little bit, a little bit later. So we've also then got on the next setting is, is more flatter lie options, okay? So how PXG is working, he's got the standard setting there and then everything as you move away from that set standard setting is always gonna flatten the lie. Now, if we flip this um, neck sleeve all the way around, which actually then all it says is just the PXG logo on the back. So it doesn't say what happens to the loft. It doesn't say what happens to the lie. And this is where I think it's sometimes quite confusing for, for golfers out there when you're doing this yourself, unless you're obviously you're getting with a fitter who knows what's, what's happening as you change this lie and this loft around um, you're not sure what exactly what you're going to be doing to this driver so i flip this into the like basically full 180 got pxg logo at the back lined up so this now plays at nine degrees so i've not changed the loft but what it's done is now three degrees flat okay so every every setting is always going to reduce the lie there's no setting apart from the stand the stand is basically the, mo the most upright lie angle so i would sort of say this this driver is really trying to be a more of an anti-left sort of driver so maybe what i'm saying there if you've got a, a, a strong left to right as a right-handed golfer a strong left to right fade or a slice in there it might be a little bit tricky on the pxg to try and stop that the what i would be probably saying to you there is make sure you you're choosing your loft correctly because if you get um a loft and then you start moving that around you're always going to go flat on that it's always going to try and open up more of that right miss so this is nine degree but three degrees flat so again i'd be expecting this to be a little bit more right bias for me as i just sort of bullet one very very neutral down that down that sort of target line little bit of left to right shape but minimal very straight goal shot you'd take that one all day long so again going back to the visuals as I say, I haven't changed the loft, I'm just changing the lie, which has gone flat to which I can, I can see that little bit of that lie. So face angle to me sits great. Again, it's back in that neutral or that square sitting because I'm playing it as it is, nine degree head at nine degree. Just slight heel strike, just gets that ball started a little bit on that left and just has that little bit of that cut back. There's the one that just starts a little bit on that right hand side. That's the one that just worries me a little bit. Obviously for me personally with that 
slight flat lie just to get that ball starting a bit too far right with my current shape at the moment okay so there's there's a little some ideas around how neck sleeve works there's obviously some settings in there that is not everybody's going to know about you know you, you visually see the 1.5 minus the plus 1.5 and the standard on the neck sleeve but then what does that do to the line we've sort of explained there obviously i've shown you the uh, the graph up on screen through the video so you know, make a note of that if you've got PXG driver, this will apply to the other models as well in their range. So the, the 08 double one drive, everything like that, they've all always had the same sort of next setting as they've gone through the models. Okay, so post comments down below, let me know your thoughts. Is that um, an interesting video for you there, just looking at maybe how loft changes and how influences lie and potentially how that can affect your short shot shape. Some subtle little changes there for me, clearly, and this is, I, I always tend to play my drivers fairly sort of neutral. You can see the white color in there was, a, was the most accurate for me and a little bit longer as well, which was just a standard nine degree. I don't change around face angle, try and keep the lie as, as pretty standard as it is without going sort of too flat, too upright. I don't really want to sort of influence that. So I tend to play things quite neutral. Okay, so let me say, post comments down below. Have you got a, a setting in your particular driver, whether it's PXG or some PXG or something else? Love to hear your thoughts or, or love to hear your reason as to why you've gone into that. Was that through a fitting session and as to why or what shape you're trying to influence? It'd be great to sort of hear your feedback as well. Appreciate you watching the video as always and hopefully we'll catch you all very soon.